have we, a minor in bracketology. We are the commentators. <laughs> yeah. We need to have the bracket. That's in what our I'm brain. saying. I don't have an associate's in bracketology. I don't have a bachelor's in bracketology. You got to leave that in front of me, otherwise I'm not gonna be sure where we are. Yes, who does? Yeah. All right. I don't know what happened to the mic. Uh, Chico decided to kick it. All right. Not the mic. Um, that camera. Yeah, it's cool. But um, I just can't fix it now. All right. Um, it's fighting a little bit. Might be the it might be the monitor too. All right, that works out. All right, we can cope with that. All right. So, uh, winners semis. So now, Yutu King and Mekos versus J Band and the Cat. Um, a lot Kitaro, of Meta Knight. Kitaro and Kuntel here. Kitaro and Kuntel. Hey, going at another one, but yeah, a lot of Meta Knight. I mean, yet again, we got. Ooh, we got a Fox. Yeah. Okay, we got. This is what I like to see now. This is where it's gonna get a little more interesting. See a little bit more diversity. I, I hope so. I'm not liking that Fox too much in doubles, but. Let's see if he can pull he, it he's out. He's made a couple technical errors and a couple slip-ups today that have cost some stocks, but we're getting later in bracket. Let's see what they got. All right, so it's J-Ban versus M2. Mekos always comes wow, in to so help his partner. Yep, and I was going to say, I mean, this seems to be the smart way to do it. Let the Meta Knights duke it out and let, uh, let the <laughs> two lower-tier yeah. characters sit there and fight each other just because... If you're a lower tier trying to get an M2K's Meta Knight, you may not be a happy person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Unless M2K doesn't know how to fight the character, but these characters, I'd say he knows how to fight pretty well. No, I gotta say, I gotta uh, give uh, discredit myself here. I haven't done my homework on J-Ban, but I've been watching his Meta Knight, and today he has really brought to the table a very impressive Meta Knight. I he's really a, yes, he's a very silent Meta Knight that's really good. Yeah, He, he hasn't placed out a top four since, like, Apex. <laughs> yeah, he's he's been very, very impressive, very, very consistent and solid solid option choices it's really impressive to me i mean he's a real sleeper i was yeah. shocked when i saw how well jban was doing with such little such little you know recognition yeah luckily he's entering tournaments more often i'm able to drive some more so i'm bringing him to a lot of stuff well we get into that summertime and everyone knows summertime is the best time for brawls so. hell yeah that's why i do all my tournaments in the summer yeah. i love it and this summer is going to be crazy we got cot we got sk tar we got lirr so hell if you're in yeah. that tri-state region we got a show. lot of big tournaments. Now, yo, if you're in that freaking Earth region, <laughs> you better show up. If you're up. in the Earth domain. Yeah. Oh, Mikkel's with the up B across so, okay. the stage. Mewtwo King's already dropped the stock already, but Nakat has also, and he's already at 105, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nakat, yeah, that, I'm not liking the Fox. I might have to walk up and tell him that, you know, this Fox might I not mean, be the best choice. He does a great job with the character. He's ranked top five with the character, but unfortunately, I just think team-wise, he's yeah. just... He's too demanding of a character. Needs a lot of space. Needs a lot of a yeah. lot of help too. <laughs> if, you, if you can't get the up smash, what are you doing? You know, very little. Uh -oh. Very little. I would say you're probably looking for grabs to help your teammate out. Yep. <laughs> All right. He's at 138, so he just needs to live for a bit. But he's fighting M2K. So everyone in everyone underneath 50, and now we got we got the cat over here at almost 150. We got Mekos recovering every time somehow, and he's Lucas. Just really I, staying on point and paying attention. Really seeming to, uh, oh wow, Ooh, stealing nice. a laser. Maybe <laughs> maybe trying to condition a little bit to get him to stop firing those lasers. He got half percent um, health back for stealing the laser. Now this is where it gets a little questionable. It looks like Mekos is actually uh, oh, really managing wow. to get into J-Band's head and get J-Band to go after him, or at least he was there. So unfortunately, yeah. Nakat got killed for it. <laughs> wow, Nakat with that early back air kill. All they need to do now is... Wow, they're pretty even. Yeah, they... What? What? I mean, that back air kill really changing the pace of everything. It's really important right now. I feel like something's up with M2K. Like, in doubles, I don't know what it is. But he's just getting, like, smacked around. I, I, I don't know. I just think lately it's down to the play style. Back when he tended to be a bit more aggro and a bit more frame-based, I think he really had a much better capability of getting in there and getting what he needed. But now he seems to sit back more, miss opportunities. You know, yeah. still a great player, but... Not what we used to see from him in teams. When he sits back a little too much, I swear that's when he messes up. Yep. He did very well versus Isam a week or two ago when he was going aggressive, so I think he should continue to go with. I don't know about in doubles, though. I'm going to say I think the focus has been a lot more on singles lately. He's gotten a lot of smack talk about his Meta Knight and how people are starting to get better at him, better than him. You know, He hasn't made it out to a lot of tournaments due to Meta Knight bans, so... He's here to prove himself in singles again. Doubles is probably just a way to make some side cash. Yeah, if he can make the cash, he didn't place in the money while I'm at the Zanadu event when he teamed the Vidui. Yeah. Uh-oh. But um, <laughs> it looks like he can make money as long as he beats this team. But right now, this team is ahead by a pretty they're, they're, decent yeah, margin. They're, they're, they're decent ahead by enough. a decent margin. What a crazy team combo there by Mekos and M2K, though. Really oh, putting a hurting on J-Band. Now they need to 
Now they need to make, take the cat out of the pitcher and really put the work in against J-Ban. All right, the cat has to just stay alive and shoot lasers and get an up smash. And I think he just connected on about nine lasers there. So that was that was pretty serious. All right, the cat is looking to kill Mewtwo King with that up smash. Yeah, he's oh, oh too obvious. Yeah, Should have hunted it a little bit more. Wait for a commit uh -oh. to a spot dodge or a what? roll. What? J-Ban kills the cat by mistake. And they've struggled with that a little bit today too. There have been a couple team kills with um, them killing each other. Yeah, right? unfortunately. J Ban's being a little too aggressive. I don't know if that's the best choice. Because if you get in between them, like right there, oh, oh, Mekos is looking for it. Yeah, every time. And see, I think that this style that M2K and Mekos has come up with is so good for the two of them because it works so well. Mekos constantly looking to help out his teammate. M2K liking to stand back a little bit more. Wow. Like, look at these setups right now. They just really feed off that so well. That. Ah, oh, they really do. And <laughs> like, first match goes to M2K and Mekos. M2K looks so pissed. And he's, like, so depressed. I don't know why. And I don't understand. I guess he's probably still mad about that bear kill, I would imagine, you know? <laughs> he really got messed up on um, that. Got that, that jacket yeah. with the color of salt on it, so. <laughs> oh, wow, he got a new hoodie. He's props to M2K. There we go. Looking fresh, looking salty. In yeah. nine years, he had first a... First one since Melee Pro Tour. He had a hoodie once that uh, Inui's cat peed on, and they were like, yo, Inui's cat peed on your hoodie, and he was like, oh, that's nice, and he put it on. And, and it's like, damn. Yeah. Yeah, and I Walking don't know if he's watching block, it since that. Cats chasing him and whatnot. Jesus. But that might be why he's a good player, you know? Maybe it's the cat piss on his hoodie. Maybe it's the way he shakes, you know? We'll find out now. Maybe it could be the... Yeah. <laughs> I really didn't even want to add to that. Like... <laughs> 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 All right, uh, we got Taro the second putting in that hard work on them analogies. I know, I'm just taking some <laughs> random guesses. I hope that's not actually going up. It probably is. I'm sorry. Anyways, <laughs> that editing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can get some nice editing right there. Okay, all right. Oh. It looks like we won't be. Oh, all right. <laughs> Chivo <laughs> dropping the hammer wrong. right there saying no editing. So All right, I hope you don't in this. Okay, so um, I want to oh. see some more Mekos. Yeah, He's really I'm putting in some work. Yeah, he did. Half his moves are like dares and the forward bees, but it's just... And I think, I think the paper argument should be over. You know what? He may be a mid-tier, he may be a low-tier. Whatever you want to put Lucas at, leave it on paper. It's not worth arguing. Just put in your work and show everyone, you know what? In teams, it's a different story. All right, so let's see if this Fox can put in some work. It's so hard. You need space, and it's on yeah. Battlefield. Why you, would need a lot of, you need a lot of vertical space, and there are Meta Knights here, and it, it just makes it really hard when you're trying to dare through up airs. Yeah, like, <laughs> dare through up airs, dare through Mechos is like, I don't even know what moves he's doing. It's just a whole bunch of shiny shit. Yeah, it's just... Like, <laughs> how, how do you... I, I just think spacing-wise, unfortunately, Meta Knight and Fox may really just not have it. It's, it's wow, okay, but... On a side note, Nakat walking right through it and just being like, Hey, Mewtwo King, we're <laughs> still here. Ooh, almost with that spike. Is that a almost spike? Almost a, a bear spike, I believe. Yeah. Looked for it. Wow, tornadoing all three characters. And I Meta Knight. Oh, wow. Yeah. Heavy PK fire there. Okay, Um, they need to give some damage to Mewtwo King right now. He's at 21%. And yet again, just like we said, let Mechos get the... Whoa! Lucky charge, F-Smash, and the... Oh, no! Mekos mistimes it. All right, yeah, Mekos still in this though. Like you said, always recovering without much problem. Always that frontline guy too, standing in front of MGK. Yo, he just like, goes aggressive. Yo, He's like, I'm, I'm Lucas, but I don't give a crap. I'm just gonna jump in for neutral air it's just so or a dare and F smash. Oh, MGK's at 39%. Okay, they're they're just starting to get somewhere. Maybe by the end of the set, we can get MTK to like, you know, 100. Too bad J-Bands dropped the stock, and unfortunately, uh, oh. we got none in the cat looking the cat's like he's doing. about to drop one. The cat's doing well, though. Usually, he's like he's dead well. before it's this. Just, oh, that's what? what I'm saying. You gotta... Okay. Meta Knight is everywhere. Meta Knight is everywhere. Okay. M2K with the quick kills. With the awkward Nair kill there on the <laughs> All right. So, we just need the cat to get in there, give some more damage to M2K, and then kill him. 65%. All right. I'm um, getting close to 100. So now it's weird how they've switched off yet again. We got Nakat fighting M2K, and we have J-Ban fighting Mechos. What? Unfortunate. Mechos. Wow. That was some crazy edge guard. It almost yeah. worked. Oh. Uh, wow. Oh. oh. Circa 2009, J-Ban just brought it back. J-Ban does not care. He will go under and attack you wherever the hell you are. Bam. Ow. 
Wow, you just, okay, just, yeah, just put the body on Mechos. This game is like, this is a little unfair. Let's make it a bit even. Oh, man, that was just... Whew. A charge F-Smash, like too. A, like a heavily charged F-Smash. Wow. That was anything that you wanted to see. Up oh, and the NATO. All right. Uh-oh. Can oh, the cat man. win? No. Wow. Now this is really going to be a problem. Mechos and M2K are really on fire right and now. M2K sitting at under 40%. The exact situation he's been looking for, so... Holy crap, M2K with the bad DI. j -Band's going for the gimp. He's gonna, but... Uh-oh. Well, M2K... He's gotta be gimp. careful. Oh! Whoa! Oh. Wow, I don't even know... Awkward little happened. trade there. I'm not sure exactly what happened either, but... Like the screen shook. I'm sure, like, j I'm sure J-Band is happy that it didn't end up in him being in worse position. Yeah. And they just need to kill Music King again. Mechos with a dare out of shield and a cot. It's really put him consistently in bad position. Every time the cat ends up standing next to Mechos, you'll find him daring out of shield. All right, we got Mechos going in, going for some grabs of Lucas. That's not something I would do, but... Yeah, I would agree. He would know better. Dare all day from Mechos. Jeez. Up smash. I saw uh, it. I saw it. <laughs> he called it. Oh, wow. I think that's the roll. one thing that we can count uh, out on Mechos' game was that... Uh, He's that up smash has been a little questionable today. Yeah, um, as long as he's not getting punished, it's okay. And a fair that just kills immediately. And I don't see in the cat brain this. Wow. 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 Okay. The smart option of not mashing and not trying to jump out of anything there. The only problem is M2K and Mecho is just hunting right now. Woo! Okay, we got the oh. back here. Oh, Jesus. And it looks like M2K and Mecho take the set. So now we're going into losers finals, and it's gonna be a 